We've been sponsoring the Minor Football Championship now for over five, this is our sixth year. And uh, we've noticed, I suppose, during that time that it is a very difficult year for guys who are, you know, playing minor football and hurling. They're having to make career choices, they're doing exams, uh, and, and in the meantime, they're trying to stay fit and play for their counties. So what we're trying to do is sort of work with them on that and try and get more senior players to talk to them about what, what life was like for them and what they can do to sort of manage all of that pressure and stress and, and, and perform, both in, in terms of their studies and in football and hurling. The ESB and ourselves have looked at how we can support the player through the pressures that are on them at this stage in their lives. All the players are preparing for examinations, trying to make their county teams, also play with their club teams, and it's a question of giving them the best advice possible to get them through that period of life and to ensure that they enjoy playing the football or hurling and also cope with the pressure of examinations. Uh, it's a wonderful time in a young person's life to be gearing to play in an all Ireland series and a provincial series. Um, it's a great honour for their clubs and their, for their families and for their counties. So it's a question of how we can help them prepare and get through this period for them as best as possible. Pressure is probably one of the better stresses that life throws at us, you know. And I think the secret for the lads is to try and embrace it, don't fear it, and take on, on board what, what comes with it and, you know, sort of meet it uh, head on. And the fact that the boys are very, very fit and they're training with, with their teams will allow themselves to be mentally fit as well. So if you've got a, a fit body, you've got a fit mind. And you, you, you tend to manage your time better when you're fit. And you know you've only got two hours of study, 30 minutes of training. So you, you, you get better time management and all fits a lot better you know, than, than throwing five, six hours at it. So I definitely think a healthy body and a, a healthy mind. You see the pro ideal club, you see the pro ideal family, that, that, that brings its own pressures. But, um, you know, I suppose when you're, when you're 18, 19 and you, you think you can conquer the world, when you're 17, 18 that way, like, you think you can conquer the world. And then and I don't think that, I think it's only when you get older that the pressure gets, the pressure gets more because you know what's at stake. I think the fellas um, going through the trial games and that, they just go out and try to do their best. And um, as I said, it, it's difficult to deal with, with pressure, but I don't think at 18 you, you feel the pressure as much until you get to, to Crow Park. And it's more of, when you see the 80,000 people, it's more... Uh, driven from fear, I'd say that's the end. <laughs> rather, than, rather than pressure as, uh, as your performances. But uh, so you would see guys, it brings it brings certain guys on when you, when you feel the pressure of 80,000 people bring certain guys on and certain guys go into themselves a small, but, but I think uh, any fella that um, has the ability to get on his um, respective county team is going to have a bit of confidence anyway and it, and, and it should drive him on. I was uh, minor 98 with Kerry. We, um, we, we did well in the Munster Championship. We got as far as the, the all Ireland semi-final. We lost to Leash. Uh, Leash went on then the final and they, they were beaten by Tyrone and that Tyrone team went on then they did well you know on the senior did a lot of good players Philip Jordan and um, Ryan McMahon and all those fellas you know so uh, disappointing you know but you, you, you try and come back then the years after and make up for it you know my uncle Tom he, he won a he won an all Ireland minor in, in the 60s and uh, then of course there was my, my other uncle Paddy and then I, my three brothers were, were in the Kerry minor so there was no pressure on me at all 2001 <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky enough to be a, a dual minor and um, play Galway in the final here. Um, probably had a mixed, mixed kind of minor years um, for the hurling. I was lucky enough to be on it when I was 17. Um, played all the games and was dropped for the final against Galway. Yeah, the All Ireland final. So um, we were we were beaten that day. There's no coincidence there. We were beaten that day. <laughs> but uh, came back came back the following year. Um, Got a bad injury this after the year and um, missed the monster final against Tipperary, but fortunately got back for the, the quarter final, the semi final, and the final. So um, probably a mixed year. To use a, a good saying, if you rest, you rust. I think you should keep going if you can and try and uh, to sort of phase your training as, as same as you're studying. Work in little phases. And the stuff you can do at home, I think, come down the car. You can do stuff like in a, in a wee room, you can jump up in the chair, you can do push ups, you can do shadow boxing. You can do some wrestling with your brother or your mother or your father, you know. Even go in the kitchen and pick up a couple of uh, cans of baked beans and do some weights, you know. There's all sorts of things you can do if you just use imagination. You can do chin-ups on the, on, the, on the stairs. There's all sorts of stuff. Students and, and minors these days, they, they always kind of give off this persona that they're kind of confident. And, you know, behind it all, they mightn't be so confident. But I just think, like, you know, you're, you're going to be doing your leaving cert. You're going to be playing minor. They're both big tests, you know. So if you have the work done, and I think on the training ground or in the classroom, whatever, if you have the work done, you can feel confident and you can, you can, you can do well from there, you know.